Hello everybody, today I would like to demonstrate how to clone a Volkswagen ECU which is a EDC 17 CP14 ECU, it's a diesel engine. This normally could be done using the hotel, just reading information from one and, write, uh, and reading the information from another non-original one and using those information it can unlock the ecu write the new information into the computer i'm not sure if actually hotel is, a, is able to do this because it does everything through the i believe either through the bench or through the obd uh, i'm not sure if it's able to do it since this computer has a t-prod protection or tuning protection in this case uh, i will be using a uh, alien tech tool um, cast 3 um, using the bench option uh, with the CAS3 on this ECU just does not work. It just doesn't even identify the ECU because of the T-Prod version. So this ECU has to be booted if I'm going to go with Alien Tech, which I believe most of the tools, we also tried it with the auto tuner. Uh, it just won't go through it. Um, so let's get to the computer. Let's see how the process goes. Okay, everyone. So we just launched the application Alien Tech Suite. I'm not gonna go through all that, uh, obviously. So we're just gonna look for our ECU in the system right now, which is a EDC 17 CP14. Uh, all right, this could this ECU could be um, installed on several different type of vehicles, um, but if you guys look at it in here. Well, for any Volkswagen or Audi families, we have the same boot protocol 146. Um, so it doesn't matter which one you select, actually, it will just do the same exact job. But I'm gonna still go ahead and find my vehicle. Mine is a Jetta, I'm just gonna write Jetta in here. Okay, um, 2010, the production date starts, I believe. 2009 on this vehicle, so this type of issue I have, no, CJAA, here we go, this one, it's a TDI, yeah, we can go with this one, so we're gonna go from here on to the boot option, and, all right, computer is, okay, We're gonna look at the manuals. Um, I already did all the connections in here. Um, you can read all the manuals. It's very useful actually if you're the first time you're doing with this type of ECU because you will do mistakes. Um, okay, so we have two different type of ECUs but the connections are at the same exact locations. So it doesn't really matter. And it, there's only one type of bench connections in here which I already did. It's very simple guys. Um, I don't think I have to go through those. It's very straightforward everything is colored it's very hard to miss it and we also have a boot option in here we have to connect the solder the boot pin that's coming out of the alien tech um multi-wire the boot cable has to be soldered in here somehow in your own convenience whatever that's easier for you so i did a soldering on it so that's done and then we're going to identify the ECU to make sure that we do have communication. Once I see this sign, I know that it's read, uh, reading some information, retrieving ID information. And as you guys see in here on the left side, hardware number, software number, or the VIN number, it does not give me anything. I believe it. I believe this is the reason for it having the um, TPROT version. But it is able to identify. It is able to talk to the uh, processor. In this case, is a TriCore 1796, and other um, and the other flash in here that's listed right here. It, it is able to com communicate with them properly. So at this case, once we're able, once we're able to have communication with it, we're good to go. In Volkswagen EDC 17 or MET 17 or any 17 ECUs, we can't just read backup and write backup. 
um, what the computer has to do is, for in our case, the case 3, it will have to read a backup file from the original ECU. And then it will ask you to um, connect to the donor ECU to the case 3. And then it will read a backup from that as well. And it will calculate some information. It will download a new file and write that new file into the ECU. The file that will be actually, actually start the vehicle. So let's go ahead and hit the button where it says clone ECU. It says upload the a file, meaning that if you have the original backup from the original ECU, you don't have to connect this. But somehow I have done that and it did not work. I'm not sure exactly why. But in my opinion, the best thing to do is have the original computer connected first, read the ECU data, and connect the original ECU to the clone, meaning that the original computer that belongs to the vehicle that starts the vehicle. So it will go ahead and try to identify this ECU, and then it will try to um, read all the information out of it. And by the way, guys, you don't have to use Alien Tech KS3, or you can use different type of tuning tools. There are some expensive ones, there are some cheaper versions, um, but this type of ECU, I believe it could even be um, read or cloned by, I believe, FC200, which is a less than $1,000 programmer, which is actually very good for the buck. Um, or you can use KS3, which has a lot bigger coverage, um, but it's well over $5,000 if you want to get with the car protocols with OBD and Bench, as well as if you want to master activations. You could use Flex, you could use AutoTuner, there are a bunch of tools, there are very high quality tools that you can use to get this job done. The best way of doing this job actually is not even using any of these tools. The best thing to do actually is to use Otis with a valid subscription and you don't have to bench this ECU at all. You don't have to do any soldering. You don't have to open it up. Oh, you don't need any information from the old one, actually. You could just put the donor one into the vehicle, use a notice, um, just hit the button where it says service immobilizer, or it says adapt the uh, engine computer to the immobilizer of the vehicle, and it will just go through the whole process. Then you will have to do the correct coding, software management, and the car will be ready to go. I do have Otis, and I do this most of the time through the Otis. And in this case, I just wanted to show you guys how would this be possible. I had some point where I had a, um, my Otis was not working properly. So I had to use a couple of times this way, and um, that's why it's actually good to <coughs> know how to do it if your orders is down or if you don't have orders at all. So basically right now it just finished reading the micro, it will go to the flash file as well as the EEPROM file. It's done reading the original um, ECU now. Um, I do not have the original, e the other donor ECU with me right now. Um, this is only for educational purposes. So um, in this case, you would have to just disconnect this ECU right now, the original one, and you would have to just um, put the donor one, do the same exact connections, and then go ahead with the procedure. I will not be changing the computer right now. I will just be, um, using the same exact computer actually. Uh, but I have done this using with the same exact method and multiple times and it works perfectly fine. So it says now unplug the original ECU to be cloned. Let's say we did it. And it says connect the new ECU, the donor one. Let's say we did it. And now it will try to identify the new ECU. It will read or back up the complete data of the ECU, send both the files into the servers and calculate a new file and that file is going to be written into the ECU which will be able to start the vehicle.
right at this point, it's sending uh, both files to the server, or the server is checking both of the files um, to be able to create a new file to push in this new uh, ECU in order to cart the start. Once it's um, done editing a file, it will write the new file into the ECU. I will save this uh, new calculated file as um, test, um, sorry, test to new data. This is the complete backup file. I'm sorry, this is the complete um file for the new ecu that is the correct file that needs to be pushed into the vehicle Okay, guys, the job is done. Now you can disconnect everything, put the module back together, put on the car, and the car should be able to start. Thank you guys for watching. Have a good day.